You see, it is very key and very important that we educate ourselves and get things right so we can always have a well-informed discussion. So for a very long time, I've always seen this thing, anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism. You know, this is against Jews. This is against Jews. Against Jews, anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism. And I was like, okay, okay, I get it. You know, anti-Semitism is against Jews, is against Jews, and so forth. Um, and I think it was Farrakhan that I was viewing, I was viewing some of his videos. I know before people say everything, this is not going to be like a whole Farrakhan video. I was just going through his videos. And he just talked about how, the how Semitic isn't just mainly done towards Jewish people. So I was like, well. So then I just thought, like, okay, let me just do some my own research. Because again, I always like to do independent research. I will not take what any person says as fact. I say, okay, I listen to what you're saying. I will now do my own independent research. So before we do that, let's just first start with a definition. So anti-Semitism is hostility to or prejudice against Jews. So, aha, okay, I know this. I know this. I know this for many, many years. Anti-Semitism is if you're prejudiced against Jews. But then I just said, okay, let's focus on this. Semitism. Specifically, what does it mean to be Semitic? What is Semitic? Because obviously Semitism is obviously you um, extrapolating, but the root word is Semitic. So let's just see Semitic definition. So Semitic is relating to or denoting a family of languages that includes Hebrew, Arabic, and Aramaic at, and certain ancient languages such as Phoenician and Akkadian, constituting the main group of the Afro-Asiatic family, relating to the peoples who speak Semitic languages, especially Hebrew and Arabic. So, seeing that, I then say to myself that, using my logic and my brain, therefore, if you're anti-Semitic, you are against people of the Jewish faith and Arabic faith. So you are, so you are against people who speak Hebrew and people who speak Arabic. So then I then say to myself that, let's back up. Why then is this only host hostility or prejudice against the Jews? So if, maybe it's, been, okay, okay, before we can get there, the definition should be, because again, I'm all about logic and things that make sense. The definition should be, Hostility to or prejudice against Jews or Arabs. <laughs> you know, because it's like, um, for instance, okay, um, I'm anti fish. It doesn't mean that. And then, so let's just say I'm, I'm anti fish, and the definition of being anti fish is hostility to or prejudice against salmon. I'm like, Okay, let me find the definition of fish. Fish is a family of animals of the um, or that include salmon, that include trout, that include sea bass, that include all these kinds of things. So then I said, wait a minute, it's kind of because it's against salmon, it's because it's against salmon, fish, I'm sorry, salmon, trout, sea, all the family of fish. So I was like, okay, let me. Go deep and find that. So then I then went, I say, anti Semitism Arab. And this is what I wanted to see response to common inaccuracy. So let's just give this a little bit of a read. You know, okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. If not, I'll just read it for you. So Inaccuracy. Arabs who hate Jews cannot be labeled anti-Semitic because they themselves are Semites, which is the approach I come from. That wait a minute, you know, 
how can they be anti-Semitic when they are from the Semitic family by definition? So the term anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism was formulated to refer specifically to the hatred of Jews. Interesting. Okay. And see, this is where I was going to go to, and I'll, I'll explain this. The term has never been used to refer to hatred against Arabs. Claims to the contrary are an effort to diminish the term's potency or to seize ownership of it. I want to deal with that. The historical roots of the term anti-Semitism go back to the 19th century, when it was invented and popularized by anti-Jewish German writers and intellectuals in the closing decades of the 19th century. The anthropology of that era gave the name Semitic from the Hebrew Shem, one of Noah's sons, to a family of languages that included Hebrew, Arabic, Assyrian, and Phoenician, and labeled members of groups that spoke these languages as Semites. Through the ministrations of late century racial science, Semitic was increasingly used to designate Jews as a race with inborn biological attributes. The use of the term anti-Semitism to specifically denote opposition and antagonism to Jews was first suggested by the German journalist Wilhelm Amar in his 18th century work, The Victory of Judaism Over Germanism, a bestseller that helped push the Jewish question to the sense of German politics. Now, this is where things get interesting. Hopefully, you guys can see this. All right. So quite simply, anti-Semitism refers to the hatred of Jews, whatever the nationality, race, color, or creed of the perpetrator. Attempting to dismiss the term anti-Semitism because of semantics, like this word here, does not erase the fact of its existence or its history. So this is where I, this is what I even wanted to say before I went through that. Now, I'll probably bring in something about mixed race people to to talk, talk about that, but so let's just go back here. So, uh, the term has never been used. So, the term answer was going to refer specifically this word here specifically to the hatred of Jews. The term has never been used to refer to the hatred against Arabs. So, that's why I wanted to go to that. By definition, it doesn't make sense for you to have anti-Semitism or be anti-Semitic to be specifically against Jews. But then the response here, and just to keep in mind, let's just keep in mind, this is a, I believe this is an Israeli, a pro-Israeli site for Israel advoca advocacy and education. Because again, I want to just hear the is Israel re re response here. So he said specifically that because it has been used in society, and that word, they have used that word in society specifically to go for Jews. Therefore, being anti-Semitic based on its practice has to go to the hatred of Jews. So the term has never been used to for a hatred against Arabs, which is, which is, which is, which is, which is true, which is true. Unless I'm wrong, again, guys in the comments tell me, you've never really had in practice in the world we live in, for forget about the definitions in the world that we live in, Anti-Semitism used as a hatred against Arabs. But it's not that, it, and now, I just need to ask some questions here. Claims to the contrary are an effort to diminish the term's potency or to seize ownership of, of it. So, so I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get that. The term's, to diminish the term's potency or to seize ownership of it. Wait, um... Yeah. So, for me, I think so, so, so from my point of view, this is from my point of view, yeah. because for me, I'm all about definitions and just what it is, because I think it's very important to educate yourselves. It's not a case of seizing ownership of it. It's just trying to understand the definitions. Now, 100%, yes, anti-Semitism has perhaps been popularized and used as a specific hatred of Jews. But the fact of the matter is, it is important because Semites isn't just for Jewish people. The Semites and so forth, as we've seen, are for the Hebrew and the Arabs. So because the thing about it is, and this is where we now get really um, deep, is that you 
taking that and claiming that as anti-Semitism is just Jewish is boom. This is just this is a racist term for us. And this racial thing is just for us. So we are and it speaks to a different point. I mean, I want to make maybe in a, in a different video and so forth, a different discussion I want to talk about. But just specifically for this, for me, myself, me saying that, why is... Because, see, this is the thing here. Definition. I feel definition and practice can be different. See, the proper definition should be if for me going into the definition should be see that for me i just think it's it's um unprofessional to have that definition a more professional and responsible definition is anti-semitism denotes a hatred or prejudice against those who speak hebrew or those who speak arabic specifically arabic people or jewish people but the term has been popularized mainly and has been used in practice as denoting a hatred of Jews. Then I'm like, that makes sense. Because the issue of you or also not having that, because um, it's always good to be informed because education is very key. All this time, I believe, all through myself growing up, I just believe that Semites are only Jewish people. You know, so when I just saw anti-Semitism, I just presumed again because I didn't really search, I didn't read, I was just accepting what the media told me. I was just accepting what I was being given. I just assumed that okay, um, you being a Semite or Semitic means you are Hebrew. Semites, Semites, and so forth only denote to Jewish and Hebrew people. That's what I accepted. But I'm doing research. I was like, oh, the Semites. Is a whole school, you know. So again, when you now <sighs> definition, you now go to it. Sorry, um, relating to or denoting a family of languages that include Hebrew, Arabic, and Aramaic, and certain ancient languages relating to the peoples who speak Semitic languages, especially Hebrew and Arabic. So. That response, I think, is wrong because ownership is ownership. By definition, the ownership belongs to those who speak Hebrew and Arabic. By the definition here, Semitic. You know? So, it's for me, I just see, I just like getting things right. Because, again, this is why I said to the whole mixed race thing. If somebody who's mixed race and says that I'm black... I'm like, you're not black. <laughs> Pause. You are, by definition, mixed race. Your father was black. Your mother was white. You're 50% black, 50% white. Now, in practice, and how you live your life and how people perceive you, you're black. Cool. I fully agree. So, see, I'm a black person based on how I live my life and how the world sees me. Hold up, 100%. That's okay, fair enough. But we cannot get past things that are. I can't look at a rock and say, no, it's 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 a unicorn because of the reason, and because of how people have, because, because so many people in this village have viewed this as a unicorn and so many people have called a certain rock a unicorn, it's a unicorn. I'm like, okay, cool. If people in your village have decided to call that rock a unicorn. But by definition, what is, it's a rock. That is what it is. And that is what we have agreed upon for thousands of years, that this object right here is a rock. Now, you calling it something different, okay, cool. But we must first understand what its origin is. So, Semitic and everything, it must first understand what the origin of that is. And then we then say, well, in practice, how it has been used is, aha, uh -huh, this down denotes the thing. Because I've always said that, look, if... You're racist to someone who's Jewish. You're racist to someone who's Jewish. You're being anti-Jewish. You're being so. So just say you're being anti-Jewish. You hate Jews. You have a hatred towards Jews, or you're anti-black, or you're anti-Chinese. But you're saying you're you're anti-Semite. You don't own the Semitic word that is shared between those, as we've seen, of Hebrew 
an Arab. But then he then said that that word through history has been used specifically as things. So that's why. So we, we we have to understand the full picture. It's very important that we understand the full picture. And I think in all the words I say to you guys in life, always research, always research. We do. This isn't 1995 anymore. This is the year 2022. As you see, it just takes a few clicks. <laughs> it just takes a few clicks, you know. Obviously, going from some some dodgy weird sites that's uh, that harm things, but just look through, do your research, ensure that look at what you're researching, see whether they have an agenda. So, because even people say, oh, why, why, why would you go to the Israel sites? You know, they would have an agenda. But the way he defined that, I was like, okay. But I can because because I can break that down. I can accept it, but I can still break that down and still offer a counter to the points that he's making. But I thought that was the best thing, the response to use to sort of break it down and dissect it and be like, okay, no, no, and this is the cut. Yes, see how it's been used, be used specifically against Jews, but let's just understand the root word, understand that root word and where it comes from. Because, because I'm sure a lot of you people, I'm sure a lot of you people would never have known that Sem Semitic and so forth related to people that spoke Hebrew and Arabic and all of those people of different faiths, not specifically Jewish people. So always educate. Become a Half Hope Source member and gain access to exclusive videos and also the chance to watch films, anime, or different videos with your boy HH exclusively. Just click below on the join button to join in and become a Half Hope Source member to gain access to these perks. Just click on the community icon over here to view the new members only posts just for you.